Welcome back. So let's have a look at today's uh, graphics program, which is Wonder Brush. Um, I think that was also originally a commercial BOS product. In fact, I think I paid money for that one when it came out. Just before BOS disappeared from the scene. And it's been with Haiku for a long time now. So I didn't really get along with Art Paint and Picasso. Let's see if Wonder Brush will be better at meeting my needs. Okay, so first of all, Wonder Brush uses a single dependency here, lib layout, which I think is deprecated. So I hope nobody goes around and removes it. And this is actually a vector program that can handle bitmaps, if that makes any sense. It is not a, a bitmap first program like the other two. So let's open up a file and see what we can do with it. And there it is. Hmm. Okay, so you've got a bunch of tools here. And oh yeah, there's my pick objects. That should make me happy. Okay, so I want to select something. What's this? Clipboard transform. Edit gradient. Uh-huh. How do I select things in this? Let's see. Documentation. Three languages. Okay. Uh huh. Um, objects. Uh huh. Tools overview. That's undo, redo. Huh? Okay. Tools. Let's try tools in detail. Pick objects. Uh huh. Crop transform. Clone brush, blur brush, bucket fill, text, shape. Okay. How do I actually select a piece of my Uh, let's see what this does. Uh, it's got this translate, rotate scale. Come on, this is ridiculous, people. <coughs> All I'm asking is that I grab a piece of my picture and dr drag it somewhere else. All right, let's see. What does this do? Selectable. Select all none. What? Is 
So no. No, this is one object. It can only be manipulated. I want to crop. I want to put things clipboard. Um, oh, what does this do? Absolutely nothing. I mean, yeah, select all. That's not very interesting. All right, let's see what we can do. All right. So you see what's happening here. These are different objects that can then be This is the eraser, and this is a blur tool. Okay, I think you get the idea. Everything gets listed here in order, so you probably could reorganize them. Yes, you can. Okay. Now, the interesting thing here, of course, is that <coughs> this program will save to SVG, which means you can use it instead of Iconomatic to make icons. But just as a bitmap editor... Uh, okay, so I can now take this and move it. Oh, come on! Let's see. Translate. I hate that translate business. Ah, okay, at least I can resize it. Ah, wait, wait, wait. What's this thing in the middle? Uh, let's see. I suppose I can do that. Okay, that oh, it's possible, but it has to be an object that you drew, not just part of an existing picture, because this is at heart a vector editing program, not a bitmap editor. Okay, we're going to move on to the uh, ported programs. We have three or four of them, and uh, see if they do any better, because so far, for what I use bitmap editors, I'm not really seeing that they make my life any easier. Let's see if the ported programs will make me feel better about things. Thanks for watching.